Hey, this is Corey from ME Navigator, and I just wanted to check in because I am doing great. I have improved so much lately, and I just wanted to share that hope with you because you can improve, it is possible, and I've been continuing to do it. <clears throat> so I was at 5% on cognitive and physical um, six years ago on the uh, hummingbird scale and then dipping down to 3% in a crash. And today I would say I am at 30% physical, 50 to 70% cognitive. And that's huge. Um, that what I can do is amazing. Um, I just got back from a trip in my wheelchair. Um, I am still in a wheelchair outside the house, uh, reclining power wheelchair um, to uh, Florida for Disney World and New York and uh, New Hampshire to visit family and I did not crash. Um, I went on all the rides at Disney World and did all the things. Um, I went to shows in New York, no crash. Um, and I just had a birthday party which had like 60 people and they're all talking over each other and there was noise and lights and you know music and I did fine. So um, that's how far I've come. I used to have trouble listening to one person talking in a quiet room for more than a few minutes at a time. Um, my limit sitting upright used to be about 15 minutes um, on a good day. <laughs> and that party, I sat up for hours. Um, I did have the benefit of wearing um, compression socks plus a corset, and corsets can help both keep the blood in your head with a, with POTS, but also um, an orthostatic intolerance, but also they help support your torso so it's easier to stay upright and your muscles aren't working as hard to stay upright. So those things both helped, but I was still amazed. I would usually have to lie down a whole bunch in between, like every, every like hour or so I'd have to lie down. I did fine, I didn't crash, I was, I was sore for, um, a, a good week in my upper body where the course it wasn't supporting me in my neck but didn't crash part of why I didn't crash was I rested the whole week leading up to the party and then uh, the day after I stayed in bed in the dark um, with minimal um, screen time and I um, uh, just listened to audiobooks and stayed in the dark for two days and then the third day, I kind of spent half the day doing that and then started moving around. And I just kind of gradually worked my way up to doing my current baseline of activity around the house. And um, I, it, it worked. Um, that is a really important part of whenever you do a major activity that um, costs you is to rest as if you were crashed. Um, to avoid the crash. And you want to avoid the crashes at all costs because crashes make you overall worse. And in my experience, it seems to be that the longer I avoid crashes, the better I get. So I've avoided a crash since last November. It is now <clears throat> the end of August and um, I've, been, I've been steadily improving. The other recent change has been adding Pepsid on the recommendation of Dr. Bamiya. I'm taking 20 milligrams a day. It's an over-the-counter stomach aid that is also an H2 blocker and an anti-inflammatory. So um, it's it's been adding energy. I don't. Um, there was some research with long COVID patients apparently that it's been helping, and it and it has helped me. So. I recommend asking your doctor about that one. Um, as to how I've come like all this way, uh, look at my website and uh, cfs-me-navigator.com and my other videos for that. I've been seen at Stanford, but it's a lot about pacing and avoiding crashes and resting proactively. But I just wanted to share how much better I'm doing because I want you guys to have the hope. Um, it can happen. It is possible. 
and I wish you the very best of luck with it.